Hey there, if you're new to the channel, my name is Brendan Dell, and in this video, I'm going to share with you my story of going from lost and broke to building a seven-figure, one-person business. I'm also gonna share with you the exact steps that you can take to do the same. And I'm gonna do this by sharing with you a model, one that has been proven by many leaders in the business landscape, Alex Hormozzi, Chris Doe, Seth Godin, Jocko Willink, to not only build wealth, but also to get fast traction and build a high income without spending years wallowing in poverty, waiting for their big moment. And to make this even better, I'm gonna tell you this story in 10 minutes or less. And if you stick with me till the end, I will tell you the single most important skill that you can cultivate to build wealth in the modern world. All right, we're running out of time. Let's get into this. Before I share my story a bit about how I think about businesses, so many people look at the world of technology or starting new things and they think, I need to come up with some amazing, unique, totally different product to be successful. I need to be famous. I need to have a huge YouTube channel. And all this is wonderful and great, but the reality is it's this pursuit that keeps people broke. I've spent my whole career advising technology technology companies. And here's the secret about being a tech founder. Most will tell you 99% end up getting jobs with zero wealth creation. Most YouTube channels fail. Most big product launches flop. And I'm not telling you any of this to discourage you. I'm telling you this because I believe there's a better way, a way with a near 100% certainty of getting to your goal. As a result of the success of my primary business, I've had the opportunity to advise and invest in many different kinds of businesses. And from that, I've developed four core rules for wealth for the rest of us. And I'll share them with you now. The first, we want our opportunities to be risk adjusted. We want to be as close to 100% chance of success as we can get. Two, we want to be in the direction of progress. I don't want to invest in horseshoeing businesses. I want to invest in, you know, robot horses or whatever. And knowledge and information economies are obviously the future. Three, I want some kind of unfair advantage, something which is reasonably unique to me. And for most of us, this is our skills and experience. Naval Ravikant, the famous investor, said this best. You do not want to compete. You want to be a market of one. You can build things that are a direct extension of you as a unique individual and a person that defies competition. And it doesn't mean to reinvent the wheel. It means to put your unique spin on things that are already proven successful. And four, I want opportunities that are highly profitable. I don't want to have to pour money into a business for five or 10 years to get my money back. I want to make a return as quickly as I reasonably can. And the model I'm going to share with you here ticks all four boxes. And with skills and experience, in my opinion, you have near a 100% chance creating a 200 to 500 K income in the US an income of 470,000 puts you in the top 1% of all earning households. And globally, it's like that top 0.01%. It's very, very significant. And it doesn't need to stop there. The model will take you as high as you want to go. It's called the market of one model. Thanks to our friend Naval, as mentioned earlier. And let's dive into the story. Now, PS, if you want a step-by-step -step of exactly how to do this, you can check out my course, The Freelance Formula, that will teach you to build a six or seven figure one-person business using nothing but my unconventional roadmap and the smarts in your brain. But more on that later. Subcontracting is the single best place anyone can start to transform their unique set of skills into scalable earnings. It's not where you finish, but it's where you start. And if you look at the careers of some of the big time earners, this is where they began. Alex Hormozzi started by opening gyms, right? Before he built Gym Launch, Jocko Willing started as a SEAL. These people essentially started by developing a skill and then selling that skill to larger organizations. And the mistake I see people make is they want to jump to the top of the rung to be some big thought leader or have some hundred million dollar business. And they spend their wheels for years when they can simply make a very large and substantial income and then build. For me, I wanted to be a writer. I wanted to write for outdoor magazines, but quickly figured out there was zero money and I wanted to make money. So I looked for other paths. I figured out that you could write for businesses and make money. I networked my butt off and boom, I became a writer. I started out charging 75 bucks an hour writing for agencies and companies. I earned 100K my first year doing this, and this was like 10 years ago now. So it was really pretty good money. And it was a hell of a lot more than I could make at PF Chang's or whatever. So I just jumped in. I quickly got too busy to handle all the work and tried to figure out what was next. And it took a couple of years of banging in the walls while still earning that six figure income, but I finally got there. Next, consultant. What I quickly realized is that subcontracting had an income ceiling. I had a limit of the time that I could exchange for money. I looked up and realized that consultants at companies like Bain and McKinsey were earning millions by providing specialized advice to companies. So I thought, is there a way for me to specialize my advice? 
Is there a way to increase my earnings while decreasing the amount of time I have to spend doing the work? What I did was look and say, how can I increase the impact of a line of copy to mean more than just a line of copy? What I discovered was messaging strategy. I would set the strategy of how companies talked about their products. I developed a system for this, which I packaged and sold to technology companies. This is exactly what people like Alex Harmozy and Jocko Willing did. Alex packaged his specialized knowledge of gym ownership and started doing gym turnarounds specialized knowledge. Jocko packaged up his leadership and started consulting on leadership. He would implement leadership programs. Next, advisor. I again realized that providing specialized advice was valuable, but I was still limited in the number of companies that I could help. And I wanted to figure out how I could help even more people. I looked at people like Alex and Jocko and realized that what they did was they created IP around their products. They packaged it up into advisory services. They wouldn't implement work. They would either facilitate workshops or license their methodology. So I thought, how could I help even more people in less time? And I packaged it into positioning advisory services. Rather than actually implement work, what I would do is go into companies and for about fifty dollars to $80,000, I would then facilitate a process to position their company. And because I had developed so much process expertise with this unique knowledge to back it up, I was able to get people to the result they wanted, which was a differentiated, unique brand strategy that would help them break through in a given market in a very short period of time. This evolution is very, very common and applies to nearly every profession. Any professional service can find unique ways to climb the ladder, increasing their impact and decreasing their labor intensity, meaning the amount of time they have to spend on the work. We show you exactly how in my course. Next, publisher. Publisher is where you then continue to package up your learnings into more broadly applicable products. The big mistake that most people make that they try to start at this rung, but they have no actual skills or experience to sell to people. They have no story to tell. I am making the transition to this rung today. Next, market of one. This is where you finally get to become a broad-based thought leader. This is where you truly have a diversified personal brand. Jocko Willink as an example here, where he has this huge range of products you can buy from him. Alex Hormozy sells books and creates media of all kinds. And at this rung, you earn far more than a million dollars a year. Not me, not yet. I share all this to tell you that by developing a valuable skill, learning how to package it in a way that you can then develop unique and specialized expertise, learning how to facilitate that at companies and then go into a broader model, you can earn many, many six figures a year while still continuing to build a business that will facilitate your life without spending years trying to figure out how to crack the passive income code when the reality is there is no such thing. As promised, what's the single most valuable skill in business and wealth creation today? The answer is probably not what you think. It's storytelling. No matter how good you are at whatever it is you do, your ability to get a group of people engaged in your ideas is what will make all the difference. Whether you work for a company or for yourself, have a YouTube channel or anything else, your ability to tell a story that people believe is the single most valuable tool in your life. As the famous author Seth Godin said, who by the way also climbed up the ranks exactly the way I'm describing here, marketing is no longer about the stuff that you make, but about the stories that you tell. Level up your storytelling, level up your life.